separate the greenland ice cap is melting so quickly that pieces of ice which are several cubic kilometers in size are breaking off this is one event ice cap of greenland is melting so quickly that pieces of ice are breaking in breaking off in different different pieces event 2 greenland is prone to earthquake greenland is prone to earthquake which one can be cause which one can be effect because here it is given melting due to we can say a statement one or event one only can be triggered to event two if melting would not given then we can say because greenland is prone to earthquake due to some other region ice pieces of ice or maybe big pieces of ice are breaking in a small small but here melting is initial phenomena due to we can say event 1 is looks like a cause and event 2 looks like a event. just will try to understand in this way this is the big ice cap it is breaking in big big we can't assume we are thinking a small small ice piece no like a, you can say very very big we can't imagine immediately that was big big cubic kilometer maybe 5 kilometer 10 kilometer long long ice ice pieces and that will have started to move randomly in different different directions with high speed what will happen it will trigger the earthquake because their unbalancing will happen then we can say event 1 is the cause and event 2 is its effect now same event two event has given but you remove the melting you remove the melting then what will happen 